Claustrophobia is defined as an irrational fear of confined spaces, and it becomes a fear when it inhibits your ability to live a normal life or perform daily living activities. Symptoms of claustrophobia are sweating, trembling, fever, chills, difficulty breathing, and even tachycardia. To take a closer look at this pho phobia, we will see what percentage of the population struggles with this phobia, my personal experience with claustrophobia, and if there's currently any treatment for this available. As stated by Vatican in the 2021 NCBI.com, nlm.nih.gov website, about 12.5% of American of the American population have a fear of have the fear of claustrophobia, and a majority of those individuals just happen to be female. According to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, the DSM-5, there are many categories of anxiety disorders, and claustrophobia just happens to be one of them. Therefore, anxiety happens to be primary, and if that anxiety just happens to not be controlled, it just ha it can turn into something like claustrophobia. One dream that I repeatedly had my entire life was me crawling in a really confined space, and I remember having this dream where I was just anxiously stuck, in the, and for some reason, it's, that dream has just stuck with me into adulthood. Knowing that claustrophobia is primary to anxiety, for me, I can conclude that these things just happened to start when I was going through a lot in my life and was just suffering with anxiety. And those dreams seemed to happen to me when I was going through that. One of the main treatments for claustrophobia is cognitive behavioral therapy and introspective exposure and medications. Cognitive behavioral therapy helps individuals discuss negative uh, beliefs about claustrophobia and helps them come to conclusions about some of the myths that they have and, and exchanging those truths or those lies for truth. <coughs> Introspective exposure is a form of treatment where a patient gets exposed to triggers or the physical sensation, sensation of anxiety, but within a controlled environment. Types of medication for anxiety that can be used are benzodiazepines, selective serotonin inhibitor, reuptake inhibitors, and other investigational drugs. Anxiety is fairly common in today's society and can take a toll on one's life, but when it progresses into a phobia like claustrophobia, it can greatly inhibit a person's ability to function normally in a society. But thanks to treatments like cognitive behavioral therapy, introspective exposure, and medications, we have ways that we can now overcome things like this phobia.